So obviously a, a big, big victory for you tonight. Give me an idea. What's what's the feeling like right now? Um, it's a great feeling. I uh, like I said before, uh, I had difficulties coming to this coming to this fight. I couldn't train well for three straight weeks. But I hid it from my coaches. They wouldn't let me fight if they knew that I was in such a big trouble. My weight, I, I passed out in a sauna cutting weight. I couldn't. My body wouldn't refuse kind of to drop weight three weeks, four weeks out. Well. I, uh, I overcome the obstacle and I overcome the weight cut and I beat, um, I conquered myself and conquering my opponent was easier. What was, what was the injury? What, I mean, was it an injury that kept you from training? Or? My body was acting up. It was, I, I never felt that before. My body was acting weird. I, wouldn't, I couldn't cut weight. Like my body would stop cutting weight. Mm -hmm. I never had this before. Uh, I don't know how to find out what was the reason. But uh, it had to do with dieting uh, mostly because yeah. Uh, when I changed my diet, then it started. Like I had to change my pattern yeah. and my different food, different stuff. So that's when that's when it happened. That's when my body started uh, cutting weight. But then it was a little late, so I had to come in. And I, I was a little over uh, my regular uh, ways that when I cut weight, eight pounds over the, the limit that I always cut. But we got it done. So I was going to ask because you had some trouble in the first round, right? I mean, did that play in? Were you? Were you a little flat at all, or? Uh, no, no. Uh, actually, I um, when when he 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 was he was, I didn't expect him to be that slick on the ground. He uh, he got the back mount real quick, and uh, he did it in a, in a good in a good way that he surprised me. But I, there was nothing that the, the, the I, I've seen it all. I've been I've rolled with I've swum with sharks, and then jiu-jitsu world. So uh, he he couldn't surprise me with anything. But uh, he surprised me with how he took my back though. But the choke wasn't close, or no, no, not even close. Yeah. I've been to this situation a thousand times, and um, well, we get out of it. It's just a matter of time. So you did look good on the feet. Obviously, you stunned them with the kick to the body. Give me an idea what what the feeling is at that moment. I mean, are you are you careful to pick your shot? Are you rushing because you know? I mean, how, how do you get that finish? Here's the thing: I never move a muscle if there is no reason behind it. Um, I always try to fight efficient. He was throwing that kick uh, without any timing. He didn't time it well, but I knew that I was going to throw the same kick but when the time is right. And when I saw him, I distracted him with my hands and I throw the kick. I knew when I hit him, I knew he was on his way to canvas and then I hit him another one to send him. Perfect. They look like, uh, I saw like an Afghani flag or two hanging in the banners. Did you get to see that or? Man, there are a lot of Afghans here. Uh, they're, they're, I know uh, for a fact that a lot of people from Canada came here. Uh, a few friends from Afghanistan, they flew here. Uh, from Virginia, from Maryland, from New York, uh, from California, from Toronto. From all over the world, Afghans uh, who can support and who are able to support, they always fly over to support. Does it mean a lot when you see those flags? And oh, you see those? it means the world to me, you know, because um, I do this for, for, for Afghan people because I'm the only UFC fighter, at, who, I'm the first UFC fighter who started this, but there's now another fighter too from Afghanistan, um, Nasrat Haqparas, he's also from Afghanistan. So uh, we're trying to set a, set a stage for Afghan, for Afghan athletes for in the UFC. Nice. Give me an idea what comes next for you, because over the years, man, you've had troubles getting consistency, right? I mean, you, you, you've gotten results, but you haven't been able to fight frequently. Is that, is that important for you this year to, to try to fight more? Is that hard? Does your body not allow you? Uh, my body allows me, but it was something that I had to change. Um, I got a lot of injuries sparring, and, but sparring doesn't, doesn't have to make you better. You know, now I try to stay fitter. And um, I learned to be efficient with training. Alistair Overeem is, uh, is the guy who helped me a lot with this. And uh, if, you can, if you look at his style, how he changed and evolved, he helped me along too. So now I, I, uh, I use my body better. I train better. I periodize my training, which uh, results to less injuries and better uh, quality trainings. So uh, I'm expecting that this consistency was the only thing that I was lacking in my career. And now that I'm getting this uh, consistency right and I'm getting my momentum, I don't think there is anybody that can stand in front of me. Yeah, so perfect world. What happens the rest of this year? Do you get a, one more fight, two more fights? Is there a name? Is there a, a city that they've announced that you want to fight in? Get, what, what, what's, what's best for you well, from here? Obviously, I want to conquer this division. And um, I may not have their skill. Everybody is very skilled. This is the, the this is the killers division, but they will never outmatch me in will. I have the biggest, by far, the biggest will in this division. And when it comes to will, I'll beat them all. I'll break them all. Uh -huh.
Uh, you fought Utah in that first round, and then you came out uh, extra aggressive in the second. Did the way you fought in the first round cause you to come out a little uh, aggressive more than? Well, I was going in the fifth gear, and when I went to the corner, I had to come back out in the sixth gear because um, he, he, I didn't want him to grow in the fight. He, he's a slick striker, and I didn't want him to grow in the fight, so I had to switch a little bit. I had we we ended up in the first round like here, and I had to come. I had to come back here, so he couldn't catch up to me. Every time he came close, I went a little bit higher. And then when, when the time was right, when I, when, I, when I felt him coming in, I timed him with a kick, and then he went down. Did, uh, did your corner say anything to you after the first round to kick it up an notch or bring it to that higher level? Uh, my corners, they, they actually plan out. They actually plan out my fight, how it goes. I'm not joking with you. Greg Jackson and Coach Wink, is a genius. And Frank, my friend, he also helps me on the Mets. So they tell you what, what, what's going down. And all you have to do is show up, train, do the game plan, and implement it. I mean, it's not easy to implement when you get punched in the face. But once you stay calm and do implement it, things, things start to happen. Uh, you finished him with that kick to the liver and then the uppercut. Kick to the liver, that's not a way we usually see guys go down. Was, uh, was that part of the game plan, body kicks like that? I throw people, I, I knock people out with that cake wearing the wearing the thingy what is it called chest protector. the chest protector I, well like I, I knocked this guy down like three four times in training with, with a chest protector <laughs> it freezes you it freezes your body shuts down I this is my by far the, the, the hardest cake I throw and uh, once once you're hit with it your body freezes you can't do anything